extraordinary digital experiences are all around us. They are what feeds, nurtures, drives, and emboldens us. Creating the experiences we see from today's digital leaders requires us to release features fast, release features with control, release features with impact. But speed and control shouldn't have to be a trade-off. And we shouldn't be in the dark, not knowing the impact of what we release, not knowing the value of what we deliver to the business. To win, we have to break out from the rest of the pack. We have to transform with fast releases, controlled digital experiences, and impact that creates the most value for customers. Because we're no longer in a world where software development builds for the business. Software development is the business. Get on board. Welcome to Flagship. Please welcome Split CEO, Brian Bell. Hello, and welcome to Flagship 21. I'd like to thank each of you for joining us here. Whether you're already a customer of ours, a partner, an industry change maker, or you're just here to learn something new. Over the next two days, you'll hear how engineering and product leaders are forging new ways to build applications that excite their customers and deliver measurable impact to the business. And just as your dev teams have found themselves navigating the new normal in our world, well, we've also had to rethink how we host this conference. And so we find ourselves together here in this virtual space. And even though we can't be together in person, I'm excited by the opportunities we have today and tomorrow to learn and engage in this digital medium. To that end, and in addition to following this live stream, I encourage all of you to log in to the Split Slack community to join the conversation here. One of the things that makes Split incredible is all of you, the thought leaders and innovators that make up our community. We want to bring together that community that conversation in Slack starting today. So please, connect with one another, ask questions, and share your ideas. When Pato, Trevor, and Otto founded Split over five years ago, it was with the belief that most product and engineering teams have not fully realized the benefits of Agile and DevOps. The promise of Agile transformation to satisfy customers through early and continuous delivery of valuable software had been desirable but elusive to most organizations. Releases still take too long. They fail too often, and teams end up spending too much time rolling back changes. And most features never hit the mark in terms of delivering the expected value to the user experience, and consequently to the business that they were meant to have. In many cases, new features even have a negative impact. And what's worse is that most teams just don't even know. And so Split was started with the goal of transforming the way app dev teams build products to transform how features are built and delivered. From the early days, Split recognized that transformation is about speed. And yes, it's also about control. But most importantly, it had to be about impact. And it was that conversation and that mission that inspired me to join Split. I'd spent over 20 years managing software businesses in various sectors, and I was always struck by how hard it was for dev teams to truly understand, let alone articulate back to the business, the impact of what they released to the market. I was humbled by the opportunity to join Split and to lead our community to pursue this mission. Today, more than a year into one of the most disruptive, uncertain periods in the digital era, this mission rings true now more than ever. There has always been an awakening in organizations around the world as they realize that the idea of digital transformation isn't a one and done project, but rather a journey to continuously transform to meet ever-evolving customer needs. This has become abundantly clear as new digital experiences have taken over our lives. Streaming fitness apps have kept us active. Telemedicine has kept us on top of our health and in touch with our doctors. And delivery services have made it easy to keep our kitchen stocked and feed our families. In my household with two teenagers, it's been all about remote learning. Virtual lectures, remote proctoring apps, curriculum platforms, and of course, Discord for all the gaming that happens between classes. We've even proved it out here at Split. Between March and June of 2020, we saw our business and the total number of feature flags served monthly more than double. 
This growth is mirrored across every software sector and has shown us that compelling digital experiences, those that integrate seamlessly with our customers' lives, are what creates market leaders. When you think about the applications we each love, what makes them so amazing? It's the intuitive user experience. It's the ease of use and the way they engage us, the way they make us feel. And most importantly, it's the way they evolve right in front of our eyes. The best application experiences are constantly changing, implementing new features for us every week or even every day that deliver a better experience and better outcomes. The last year has shown us that the rewards of meeting customers where their needs are, and those needs are changing rapidly. Great product development teams understand this. Indeed, the winners in every part of our economy are those whose dev teams are focused on speed, control, and impact in the release cycle. They're listening to their users, they're measuring, they're learning, they're dynamic, they're not static, and they're never satisfied. And so today, having been witness to the last year of digital disruption, the team at Split is even more resolved to deliver on the mission our founders set out to achieve. Over the next two days, I'd ask you to keep three key questions in mind as you listen to the best practices and stories from our customers and our partners. One, how can you reduce risk while still moving fast? Two, how do you know you're delivering what our customers want? And three, how do you know you're delivering the best outcome for your business and not creating some unintended negative impact? And this is where it comes back to speed control and impact. In seeking answers to our questions, we've learned that there's a universal truth that every successful dev team understands. To be successful, development process needs to be both fast and controlled. There can't be a trade-off here. To succeed today, you must achieve both. And the power of feature flags, while seemingly simple, is that it breaks the trade-off between speed and control. With feature flags, you don't have to choose between moving fast and breaking things. But it's more than just speed and control. All of us, as leaders in AppDev, are focused on solving problems for our customers. And we're all doing this by understanding the desired customer outcomes and impact on our business. Moving with speed and control is a must, but it isn't enough. We need product and dev teams that are moving in the right direction with a broad field of view into the application experience. Only a solid understanding of the problem to be solved with data for context can make that happen. That's how you generate impact. In spending time with product engineering teams in enterprises across every vertical, we've seen that the most successful teams use a lifecycle approach to managing feature releases. We've captured these best practices in a framework that we call the feature delivery lifecycle. Let me take a few minutes to share this lifecycle with you. As teams ideate how to solve customer problems, they first develop a plan for a feature. This plan becomes a reality as teams develop and deploy features, employing continuous delivery best practices, developing from trunk, keeping work in progress low, and making small changes that don't break the development flow. Once deployed, teams progressively deliver the feature. It's an iterative target and release process. This reduces risk and unlocks the ability to gather insights from customers in production. These teams enrich feature flag data with other performance and behavioral data, and then monitor individual features and conduct experiments. These steps are critical. They capture performance degradation and measure success criteria that are otherwise too hard to see. Monitoring captures performance degradation over the minutes and hours after release, and experimentation captures success metrics over the days and weeks after the release. The last phase is learning and deciding. With data from feature monitoring and experimentation, dev teams acquire the insight they need to ideate, plan, and start the cycle again. And this entire life cycle requires close management and governance. Managing the state of each feature and how each flows through the cycle is paramount. Governing multiple teams as they contribute to building, releasing, and measuring features is critical to reducing risk. Getting this right makes it possible to iterate through this life cycle rapidly and predictably. This iterative feature delivery life cycle, when it happens fast and consistently, allows teams to continuously deliver value to customers and impact to the business. And isn't creating continuous value through continuous delivery part of what we're all striving for? It's what we're here to help you excel at. This approach may sound intuitive at first, 
But many of you have told us it's not easy to manage this life cycle. And so if this seems so intuitive, why is this so hard in practice? First, every organization we speak with is multilingual. Between server side, web, and mobile services, it takes more than one framework or language to construct modern applications. This makes common platform services even more important as they plug into multiple languages across the stack. Second, for every problem, there's a tool. Think of it as software entropy. The average enterprise deploys over 200 apps. At Split, we use more than 40 apps in our product and engineering teams alone. This means that integrating with all the tools that are part of the feature delivery lifecycle is more important than ever. Third, and especially relevant to those of us working from home, collaboration is absolutely critical. Data science, product management, and software engineering too often act in silos. At the heart of this is a lack of accessible data that provides a common framework. We need tools that bring data to the forefront and allows these teams to effectively collaborate. Fourth, as we've seen with security breaches over the past year, you're only as strong as your weakest vendor. With so many tools in use, you have a vast surface area to protect. Investing in security, compliance, and data privacy is at the top of every IT leader's agenda. Yes, we want our development teams to be empowered and to feel free to move fast and innovate, but that doesn't mean security, control, and compliance can't take, can take a back seat. And finally, we know that 80% of the time, the features you release won't improve customer experience. Neutral impact is one thing, but it's those nearly invisible negative impacts that keep many of us up at night. These concerns, combined with the requirement to rapidly evolve engaging customer experiences, are increasing the need for a software development process that's rooted in speedy outcomes rather than speedy output. It's not just about delivering more features faster, it's about delivering more of the features that matter faster. To move to this new model, engineering leaders need a platform that is integrated, comprehensive, enterprise scale, and highly secure and one that can also support multiple programming languages and manage and govern the life cycle of flags and deliver a great experience for dev and ops teams even when they're under pressure. It sounds easy enough, right? Well, an enterprise-grade platform that meets all these requirements, that's exactly what we built at Split, a platform found in the knowledge that it underpins mission-critical apps around the globe. You'll see from this week's presenters that Split has enabled changemakers in enterprises across every vertical. Nearly 500 organizations now use Split, including some of the world's largest banks, media companies, e-commerce platforms, and healthcare providers. Over the course of the next two days, thousands of teams from these organizations will launch over 4,000 features to their users. And those features will be evaluated over 80 billion times on our platform. In the same time frame, nearly 5,000 experiment results will be shown to Split users. Our Series C fundraise in August gave us the capital to accelerate our momentum, and we're committed now more than ever to partnering with all of you to help you accelerate release cycles, mitigate release risk, and create that impact-driven culture. In fact, in the past year, we've already increased our developer headcount by 60%, allowing us to deliver new capabilities faster. As you'll hear from Trevor in just a bit, we added over 20 customer-facing features in 2020, and he'll be sharing exciting new features in his upcoming roadmap session. We're also leveraging relationships with our new investors, Atlassian, Microsoft, and ServiceNow, so that we can build even tighter integrations with the most popular technology stacks. We've expanded our customer success organization with additional CSMs and support managers, as well as experimentation advisors, to help you get more out of our technology and drive change across your teams to create a culture of experimentation. And we're just getting going. Now, what's in store for today and tomorrow at Flagship? You'll hear from over 30 speakers about their journey to develop the best software imaginable. Those speakers will include split customers who are using feature flags to speed up development and drive out risk. Don't miss the sessions today led by product and engineering teams from Wayfair, Experian, and Adobe Workfront. And tomorrow you'll hear from customers including Twilio, Rappi, Comcast, and Hawthorne who are using our platform to drive business growth through experimentation. And you'll have the opportunity to connect with some of our incredible partners and sponsors including Microsoft, ServiceNow, Atlassian, Amplitude, and Particle, Lightstep, Code Climate, Kong, and C Prime. A huge thank you to all of our supporters for this year's flagship. We have two workshops for those of you who want to get your hands on. 
Today is our product experimentation workshop, and tomorrow is a workshop on how to implement feature flags in JavaScript, led by our expert developer advocates. If you're interested in snagging a last minute seat for any of these sessions, flag a member of the split team in the moderator's channel in Slack. Finally, we'll be rounding out flagship with a very, very special guest, Lovey Ajayi Jones. Lovey is a New York Times bestseller, author, speaker, and podcast host, a self proclaimed professional troublemaker. Lovey shares how to tackle fear and live boldly. I'm personally excited for a message to empower the experimenters and the troublemakers in all of our organizations. With that, I'd like to thank all of you again for joining us here at Flagship. I hope you walk away from these two days enlightened and energized and ready to drive big change in your organizations.